Welcome to Sports Focus. I am your host, John McNeil, and this is Mr. Kevin Sibbles. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. You know what we're going to talk about? What's that? In this episode of Sports Focus, we are going to discuss, start the discussion on why LeBron James is the greatest of all time. The GOAT! Yeah, right. <laughs> what? <laughs> You make a case against it. I will make a case for. Okay. One, I haven't seen him score 100 points in the game. Not I haven't yet. even seen him he score, won't. beat Kobe's record at 81 he, in the game. He won't do that. I have yet to see him win three, take two off, nope. win three more, go undefeated in the championships, nope. in, in the NBA championship series. No, he won't. I have, I have yet to see him win 11 in 13 years. Nope, that ain't going to happen. Yeah, well, we all know that that's not going to happen. I have yet to see him three-peat and then come back and repeat. Nope. I haven't seen that. That ain't going to happen. And either. we're not going to see that. No, we ain't going to see that either. Until then, and your finals win-loss record sucks. He's on the losing side. Big time. Yeah, I got to give you that. Uh, Big time. The greatest of his generation, of this era. Of this era. Yes. yes. His era took over as Kobe's was closing. Yeah. Because everybody knew the Mamba was the man in that stretch of time. Five championships, two without Shaq, even though they say he couldn't do it without him. Two without yeah, Shaq. Yeah, I don't even remember them championships, quite honestly. <laughs> I'm just being real. I remember we was talking about yeah. that, and I had to Google that to find, you know, like Kobe won two? Kobe won two. I'm looking back at the back. roster. I'm like, who the hell was on this roster? The only one you can remember is Paul Gasol. Derek Fisher was there, too. That's right. Well, my thing for LeBron James is going to, I'm just going to say this. The, 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 what, when LeBron made that comment, it was regarding when they beat the, Cle the Golden State Warriors and he made this famous play. Remember, they was down 3-1 mm -hmm. in the NBA Finals, Game 7 at Golden State. Golden State is a 73-9 team that season. Mm-hmm. That was about to be the greatest team ever. Mm -hmm. And I said it when Cleveland won that game, that put LeBron on a level that none of the other greats have ever achieved. Not all the great players that you ran off have done what LeBron has done. None of the great players were put in a position to carry their team like LeBron has, right or wrong? Magic had to carry them on the last championship. because Last because, championship, but because, they already got because there. Because Kareem, Kareem was out. Was, yeah, no, Kareem, not, no, that's his rookie year. I'm talking about towards the latter part of the year when Kareem was getting older. But remember, he you, carried you had, the team. You, remember now, all of those great players, the Magics, the Birds, the Jordans, um, you can even go back even further. They had an amazing team around him. What what player that is so you, called great did I'm not have you, that? I'm gonna tell you exactly what James Worthy said. James Worthy sat there, he said he's going to the practice facility. They going out there and they're practicing their jump shots and everything else. Magic Johnson went to the free throw line. They come saying, Magic, why you on the free throw line? Magic Johnson said, because I'm gonna win the game for us at the free throw line. It's gonna come down to these free throws and this mm -hmm. is where I need to be. Why? Because he said that he had to carry the team because he knew and Pat Riley knew that Kareem wasn't in, as efficient as he once was. And Magic would have to take over a lot of the dudes. It was then that you saw Magic start going down in the low block. All those years, uh, uh, the latter part of those years, he started going down into the low block. He started posting up more. He started getting involved down in the paint because he knew that Kareem wasn't the man that he once was in his prime. Mm -hmm. So he had to carry that team. No matter what James did, just like with Jordan, no matter what Pippen did, he know that he had to be the one to carry them over that finish line. And that's exactly what he did. But LeBron, now, I, like I said, during this era, yes. But a real champion would not have let his team get into that hole. But LeBron has yet, has yet on any of these championship teams that he's been on, had the team that Jordan had, Magic had, Bird had, not even the one championship that Dr. J won. They, LeBron has yet to have players on his team like that. 
Only I would I would give Kyrie, Kyrie, and that's pretty much it. I would say this: a lot of those guys on those Bulls teams you would have never heard of until later on when they started winning those championships. Nobody cared who Cartwright was. Nobody really cared who Horace Grant was. Nobody paid them any attention. The only one they paid attention to is the one that Jordan requested himself, which was Scottie Pippen. But Horace Grant was an All Star. As he time had went all, on. He had all As stars. time went on. He had all stars As time on his went on. team. But when you come in and you shuffle your whole roster to your liking, then yeah. Uh-huh. Exactly. Was, you was, was Phil Jackson the coach of those two championships? If Phil Jackson was. was with, with Kobe? Yeah. Yes, he was. Yeah. So not only did Kobe, who won two without Shaq, he also had the great Phil Jackson still the coach. Who was, mm. uh, who was LeBron coaches? Well, my my biggest thing with this, no, one. I'm saying, who was yeah, LeBron's you're, you're right. coaches? Oh, he was his, he, he was the, was the coach. But LeBron my, was the coach. But my thing the is GM this: you're now playing in the a player you're evaluator. playing in a watered down <laughs> East. You're playing in a very very watered. Wait down a minute, now you can say that about the Lakers. In a very what back, back in the day, oh man, who, who was in the, who was in the West? Who was in the uh, the Supersonics were Phoenix was on the rise. So was Portland with Kevin Fetworth and Clyde the Glide. It was a lot. Houston with the Twin Towers. I can go. Uh, hey, they were there. Hey, but you had. Well, what I'm saying with as exactly. far as what and I'm during saying. that time when you said talk about the West back then, it was very seldom that a team under 500 made the playoffs. Whereas in the East, you had the bottom three that always were below 500 during that stretch. LeBron, I I won't put him until he is retired, but. I'm just saying, there's no way that Cleveland should have won that series being 3-1 down. Yeah. Golden State, you, all they had to do I'm was win one my game. Philosophy. I'm going to tell you my philosophy. And I'm going to tell you something the else. The good it's story it's, of the year is the man it, returning home, bringing home a championship. Oh, yeah. It so was a great was, time. That was going to happen. Let me say that one more time. It was going to happen, and it was going to happen then against the Warriors. Because why? Because that's the way they needed to write off that story. Oh, you being dramatic. I'm not being dramatic. That's the So is, is that truth. the same thing to say right when, when Boston came back right from off. came back from three Yankee fans, close your ears or turn because <laughs> I know y'all I don't like talking about it. But like when Boston was down three nothing against the Yankees, who they just lost like nineteen to six, I believe, in game three. They came back and won four in a row. And then they swept the damn uh, World Series. Was, was it something? Oh, no, no, nothing to do with the baseball. Well, well let's, <laughs> let's, let's do it this way. It was just like when Kobe went back to L.A. down 3-2 to Boston and won those last two in L.A. Yeah. To win, they, win, win that ring with Paul. Is LeBron the greatest? Not yet. Wait till his career is over, and LeBron then we'll is the see. greatest of his era. Yeah, he's the greatest. I don't know, and period. I think I feel like since he went to L.A., LeBron is really feeling himself with you know the Hollywood and doing movies and shows and blogs and his big, and all that stuff. His biggest thing is he had to say that because he's still in the shadow of Mr. Kobe Bryant. No matter what you do in L.A., you're under the shadow of one. But Kobe I would Bryant. I would give LeBron this. None of them great players has uh who's the only player to win three championships with three different teams give me somebody that's won two with two different teams as as a top player hmm. yeah, now there's been players one. that's won championships with different teams and i still don't count the heat because conspiracy conspiracy oh we're gonna play together i man, i don't got time Let, LeBron my, did it. you might well change the subject because LeBron he that did it team, and like he is an all-time all great it is but we'll see as it now if he can win a championship with the lakers he's really gonna put himself in that top in that conversation I, moving on to a dysfunctional the organization ever, the, the pittsburgh steelers ever. uh they are having a real problem lately and it's mostly Mr. Smiley Man, Antonio Brown, requesting, reportedly requesting trade. Uh, how do you think the Steelers are going to fix this problem? Well, when you become a distraction, although you are the $80 million man, the Rooney's usually get rid of you pretty quickly. So we're just waiting to see when they're going to have enough of them. Pittsburgh in trouble, y'all. I'm just going to say this. Their season is over. They have to fix this 
before even the draft. Imagine the crap that would have happened with this stuff if they would have made the playoffs. Oh, brutal. <laughs> Pittsburgh in trouble. <laughs> the NFL season is over. The playoffs will begin. Uh, I just want to highlight one of, uh, there's a few players. The leading rusher is Mr. Zeke. Fro Man Zeke himself. Uh, we have the touchdown leader, the second year phenom, Pat Mahomes. Uh, and Big Ben uh, is the yards leader. That's the first time he passed 5,000 yards. Wow. In his career. So you know they wasn't really running the ball too much. He passed 5,000 yards. Yeah, right. Your sack man is this guy. He Donald. might be the MVP, Woo! definitely defensive player of the year, Aaron man, Donald. Man, that dude is a He's beast. He's a beast. You talking about beast. Ooh. Your yardage leader was Julio Jones. Julio, the one that worked at the Tesco. <laughs> Julio. <laughs> And this fellow, he didn't lead the league in anything. He just led the league in disappointed fans. Mm. Minnesota Vikings, once again, you're in the dumper because Kirk Cousins. $84 million guaranteed. But you know what? Is it him? It's karma. Is, is it him? Or, you know, is, I don't know. Is it, but he wasn't, in my opinion, was not worth that contract. It's karma. Karma. Because they weren't supposed to be there last, last year. Homeboy trying to make sure he don't get a penalty, wind up giving up the touchdown when he should have laid his behind out. The Saints player should have laid his behind out and just took the penalty. Karma is what the Vikings do. It seems like as time goes on, this organization just keeps making these free agent mistakes, these trades, these deals. But thank you for the three Super Bowls but in thanks, Dallas. But thanks. Thank uh, you for the three in Dallas. In the 90s, thanks. <laughs> thanks for that one. I don't know how this is going to work out for you because... Adam Thielen, his number one receiver, they're fighting on the sideline. Yeah. And this late in the season, last game, and y'all ain't got it worked out. Nope. Minnesota, feel bad for you. Wildcard weekend is upon us. Woo! We got some games. Let's start off with Saturday in the AFC. The Colts and the Texans. You Texans, like the Texans? That, that long, that, that hot streak's coming to an end. I, I like the Texans. I want them to win. I want the, the Colts for the Texans, Bill O'Brien. Let's get a victory. And they at home. Houston needs this. That's right. Chargers, and besides that, that Texan game, I believe, is the 435 on ESPN. They got them spread all, all over oh, the place. Jesus. Uh, Sunday, the CBS is carrying, that's Channel 3, that's carrying the Chargers and the Ravens. Uh, Ravens. Ravens? I'm going with the Chargers. I'm getting sick and tired of they're saying that Baltimore is that impossible to to to. to only reason why I want Baltimore is because they have proven they can go into Foxborough and beat New England in New England. You talking a long time ago, though. I think you, they can. You are. You're talking a long time ago. I still ago. think they can. Let's move to Sunday afternoon, the Eagles and the Bears. Bears. Come they back. love the Bears. The Bears can't be beat. You got to give it to the, the Super Bowl champions. They are trying to defend their title. And you know what? I'm taking the Eagles. I'm going to take the Bears. I think Khalil Matt makes the difference. I think the Eagles is going to fight and find a way. And Trubisky is going to be like in this playoff thing. This is his first time. And there's a lot of those Bears first times in yeah. the playoffs. I I'm going to take the out. Eagles. Big game Saturday night on Fox. I can't call this one. Seahawks at Cowboys. Uh, I pay attention to the media, as I told you earlier. That uh, the Seahawks, the media has the Seahawks winning this game. There's no way Dallas could win. And you know how I feel about that. Yeah. Once the media is going one way, the other happens. I'm taking the Cowboys at home. Dak Prescott will be the, the key to this game. As long as Russell Wilson, I can't call this one, because as long as that man is on the field, Russell no Wilson is, is he's a psychopath. Yeah. I, I don't trust him. <laughs> I don't trust him. I don't trust Russell Wilson because he's dangerous. He is really dangerous, yes, but he's he also capable of making the big turnover. Yeah. And he's proven that in big games. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go with the Cowboys. Folks, that's all the time we have for you. Enjoy your football weekend. It's only got a few left. Mr. Civils, thank you. And thank you. Peace. <laughs>